Now let's say that you only have one display, whether it be an internal laptop display or just one monitor, and you don't want to have to switch inputs or like have a separate display just to be able to play these games via virtual machine. Now this is where a guy called GNIF has you covered. There's a program called Looking Glass that he's developed, which uses a really simple, really fascinating concept to stream uh, what's being displayed on the, uh, the virtual machine onto the host machine. So, and with uh, QMU, you've been always able to uh, make a shared memory file. Now what this is, is this is a section of the file of memory that both the host and the guest can access. And so what GNIF's program does at its core is puts the display information from the virtual machine into that file and then outputs it to the host machine via the same file. So it's a zero, like a close to zero latency experience for the ge uh, general users. Now this is like the perfect solution if you have a desktop because uh, you're not going to be bottlenecked by any PCIe lanes. But I'm going to show you here, uh, there's unfortunately quite a bit of bottleneck if you're doing this with an external graphics card. I'm still looking into solutions. Uh, maybe I'll try Steam Play next because even though like there might it might be slower for story based games it might be smoother. But uh, the issue with this... <coughs> Sorry, uh, lost my train of thought. But yeah, the issue with Looking Glass on a laptop with an external external graphics card, like if you're passing through like a discrete card, you'd be fine probably. But you're bouncing around a signal from an already weakened PCI lane to the internal display, and it just creates this huge, huge bottleneck. It can be seen if you try to do the same thing on a, if you do duplicate displays on an actual native Windows installation, where if you try to run it on the internal display, there's so much. Uh, there's so much uh, bandwidth limitation going on that in a game where you're actually able to get like 60 FPS, you might be getting closer to 10. Uh, so what helps in this situation is, I mean, really dropping the settings down. And I wish I was exaggerating, but I mean like literally as low as you can possibly get it, you'll start, uh, your frame rate will start normalizing. Like, you'll actually have a, a nice and playable experience. Or, uh, one would hope at least. Uh, it doesn't seem to have done much for me, but that's also because it's probably because I'm running it with OBS. But on a desktop, this should just be a non-issue. Uh, if you people want me to do a tutorial on using Looking Glass or another method that I may find that they work better for you to use, I'll make a video. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, I'll make a video on that. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this tutorial is helpful to some people. I know that I'm not the best at explaining things, and I trip over my words a lot, but I'm hoping that I got the general point across, and it's very simple to set up a virtual machine, and if you want to abandon Windows finally, this is the point. This is the most ideal stage in which you can do that. Anyway, uh, hope you all have a good day, and, uh, peace.